Hey guys, so today I'm going to be participating in the preschool tag. Lindsay at Mama Schmooze Reviews contacted me and asked if I'd be interested and since we've been talking preschool on this channel, I thought it was good timing. So um, these are just, I think it's nine questions and I actually haven't done a very good job at preparing ahead of time. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit candid for me. But I'm going to answer these nine questions and I'm also going to share um, a few more in-depth answers on my blog. The link for that is below. So um, let's get started. What is your preschooler's favorite picture books? I did pull these off the shelf. Um, he actually really loves to look at books, which is kind of lucky for me. Um, not all of my kids have loved books. So right now his absolute favorite is the Count to 100 book. This has been his favorite for a really long time. I think it's probably his favorite because he's most comfortable with numbers much more comfortable than he is with letters um so he really likes this but also the illustrations are really bright and engaging so this is one of his favorites similar to this is my first 100 words so same thing it's just really engaging really colorful it's a big book full page illustrations um, which would catch any four-year-old's attention i think i will put links to these in the description box below he also loves the Press Here, Mix It Up, Let's Play books. These are really fun for him and he basically has these memorized. So these are exciting for him. And then he loves the Shine A Light books, but specifically the Shine A Light at the Garage book is the one that he gravitates toward right now. Um, and this is one where you just use a flashlight behind the pages. So he'll go, where's my flashlight? And then he'll bring this into his room. So the day has ended, the garage is closing, tomorrow will be another busy day. And then you, oh wait, that's not him. So um, this one says, this four x four vehicle is old and rusty. Can the mechanics fix it up? So this is all they see initially. And then they shine the light back here. I don't know if you can see it. And you see the car back behind there. So. Um, that's fun for them, for him as well. Number two, how do you teach them ABCs, colors, shapes, and numbers? Do you use shows? Are you hands-on? A tablet, books, etc. This is actually a funny one. I could kind of go in two different directions here. What I did with my older kids and what I'm doing with my younger kids. With my older kids, I was really intentional. I printed off a bunch of the, um, both the Confessions of a Homeschooler and the One Plus One Plus One blog, taught school packs and preschool packs, and we worked on those all the time. Um, with my younger ones, Eli was three and a half, and I asked him to sing the ABCs one time to the baby, and he was like, I don't know that song. And I'm like, yeah, you know, the alphabet. I don't know that song. And I'm like, do you not know that song? But yeah, he knew all this information about Julius Caesar and he could name countries. It's just <laughs> kind of just like, never really thought to do that with him because he was kind of involved in our other homeschooling curriculum and activities, just sitting in the same room as us. And so I was like, I have got to work on your letters with you. So with him, we did a lot of the build the letters, you know, on Pinterest, you'd find the letter A and then you kind of turn it into an alligator or an apple, things like that. We did a lot of that last school year. This upcoming school year, we're using, if you saw my last review on the reading corner, we're gonna be using the reading corner. So that's how I'm gonna be working through it with him. But then as always, you know, he's in the school room with us, so he's getting a lot more, um, he's getting a lot more education than just his letters, but I also need to really focus on his letters. Um, next. Oh, color shapes and numbers as well. A lot of that stuff um, I we encountered through his koala crate, which was helpful. Um, and then his older siblings are reading with him and interacting with him all the time as well. So just, that's just, I don't know. That's how it's worked with him. Um, do you use a curriculum for your preschooler? If so, mention the pre-K curriculum choices. Up until this point, we have for preschool and kindergarten basically used five in a row for almost everything. We're gonna continue using five in a row, but we're gonna be using the reading corner this upcoming year just to aid me in teaching him. The things that I used to kind of pull and put together on my own with the older kids, like I said, all the different websites and the packs that I would print off, um, and I'd piece them all together and work it around the five in a row book that we were doing. I just don't really have a lot of time or energy to do that anymore. So I'm going to be using the reading corner curriculum. Uh, we're going to be using some five in a row here and there and actually let's play school. She has some great resources. So we're going to be using a lot of her stuff as well. 
I will show you um, in my back to school week, which is coming up soon, just so you know, um, where I do a video every day for a week showing you some of my curriculum choices and all of that. I will show you what I plan to use, the system I plan to use to um, integrate all of this together into his preschool next year. It's like the work box shelves kind of a system, but I'm looking forward to it. What are your favorite websites to use to teach pre-K? Uh, well, I did mention Confessions of a Homeschooler and the 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 1 blog, as well as Delightful Learning. Those were my three go-tos when my older two were younger. Um, now, I, I love all those still, but I also am pulling in The Reading Corner and Let's Play School. Do you take your preschooler to any community activities on a weekly basis? Yes, he's involved in a co-op, kind of co-op thing. It's really just a group of all, my girlfriends and I who years ago when our kids were just preschoolers started a little preschool group and we would get together for holidays and we'd go on some field trips. And now those preschoolers are all in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. Um, and they all have younger siblings who are in preschool. So we're pretty intentional about having some preschool appropriate activities, having some older kid appropriate activities and field trips, and breaking them apart here and there where we need to. So yes, he has class parties, he has field trips that are geared toward him. Those are like once a month. Other than that, he's a part of everything else that my older kids do. But when my older kids were in preschool, we were super intentional about making that preschool group about learning. Um, how long, approximately, do you teach your preschooler each day? I mean, one-on-one, -on -one intentional education, 15 minutes or so. Um, but he does sit with us for our morning basket, and we do do calendar time and things like that with him. And then we also have some reading all throughout the day. So, uh, but as far as saying, let's do preschooler, about 15 to 25 minutes a day while my older two are doing their um, teaching textbooks and math. So I get a little bit of a break there from teaching them, and I get to teach him one-on-one um, -on -one. but also my older kids when we are doing five in a row I pull them in on that so he probably I guess he gets he gets more intentional time but as far as just being one-on-one -on -one, 15 to 25 minutes what are their favorite educational shows to watch I don't put on many shows for him and we are still not using tablets with the kids yet so that's kind of difficult. Every now and then, um, I will put on an old Leapfrog DVD or on Netflix. So, probably that. Unless you consider Man vs. Wild to be an educational show because that's what my kids are allowed to watch right now. <laughs> I don't know. Um, how do you occupy your little one while homeschooling your older kids? So, he kind of just sits through homeschool with us. I mean, we have a bunch of school toys. Um, and he looks at a lot of books and he plays with the baby I play with him but yeah he for the most part sits through school with us and does some form of an activity that's age-appropriate so he'll do the coloring pages from story of the world he will do the coloring pages from science he will do some manipulatives while they're working on a science project I mean he's always sitting around he doesn't have any clue that his school is any different than the older kids, to be honest. I think he just thinks he does history and science and geography too, so that's where, where we're at with, um, with him. I don't know. So funny how things change. I never would have thought that this is what preschool would look like. I think I always thought it would be like, I can't imagine doing school without doing preschool, but now it's like, oh, I gotta fit in preschool. But, you know, it's life. School is life. What is your favorite educational toy to use for teaching? I have a lot of favorites. Um, as a matter of fact, I have a lot of homeschooling favorites, so maybe I should just put the playlist up there because I really, really love educational toys. That's probably how this channel really started, was doing a lot of reviews on um, homeschooling favorites, favorite learning games. So uh, let me think if I could say what his favorite educational toy is right now. Hmm. He really loves the magnets. Um, what is the other one that he really, really loves? I mean, he basically, he goes for those magnets anytime he has the chance still, and he's been using those for years. We've had those around since he was one. Um, so, yeah, those magnets have been really well worth their money. Okay. I think 
that's my answers to all of the questions. I don't know if I have anything else to say. Let me think on this for just a second. Okay, I do have one more thing to say. There is a big divide in how I taught my older kids preschool and how I've taught my, well, my, how I plan to teach my younger kids preschool. With my older kids, I really pushed motor skill develop, or really pushed um, educational activities that they didn't even have the motor skills developed for yet. For example, holding pencils, sitting down, doing worksheets. Um, as soon as they could read a couple words, I wanted them to read all the words. And I really pushed it a little too hard for what I believe now. So for now, preschool to me is a lot more play-based and, and um, life-based, nature-based. Um, as a matter of fact, I just got rid of blocks and I got a bunch of smooth stones. I've been collecting them from some different locations that we've been to and I plan to put uppercase and lowercase on those stones and just have um, a little bit less bright, crazy primary colors and a little bit more nature and calm. Um, so I've, I've definitely changed over the years but I can see positives to both. So however you feel in your gut, you should do preschool in your family. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Don't put too much pressure on your kids. This is really just a laying a foundation for them to want to learn. So that's my advice if I can offer any at the end of this little tag. I know I'm not supposed to give any, but I want to give some, um, is to just not exhaust yourself. Um, it's hard enough to get kids to understand that now we're sitting, now we're learning, now we're listening. That's a whole um, skill set that needs to be developed between you two and a trust that needs to be developed on its own. So work on um, keeping it fun, keeping it light, and really engaging with them and getting them excited about the years of learning they have ahead of them. Because I don't think you can totally um, burn them out on school in preschool, but you really can set them up for success and, and the desire to want to learn by making it relationship and trust based and making it fun and really age appropriate. So you know your kids, you're the only ones who really know your kids well enough to know what's going to be exciting to them. Sometimes I'm really hard on myself and I say like, oh, I pushed way too hard with my oldest child. But in some sense, that was her personality, is wanting to sit at a desk and she wanted to hold a pencil and um, could I have pulled back a little bit? Absolutely, but she's much different than my second child or than my third child is now and I'm sure that my fourth kid's gonna be a whole lot different. So, um, so yeah, there we go. That's my advice. As far as this tag goes, I tag all of you preschool mamas. And if you do this tag, um, leave your video link in the comments so I can check it out. I'll put all of these questions in the description box below. And like I said, I'll write a blog post kind of answering these questions a little less scatterbrained, a little bit more clear, and I'll put that in the description box below as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope if you are doing preschool this next year that you're getting excited and that you're not too worried about it, and I will see you soon.